In this second video, we're going to expand on what we did in the first video by looking at other forward rates. Remember last video, we compared the 10-year treasury rate, 2.61%, to the 5-year treasury rate, 1.39%, and with those two numbers, using the spot 10-year rate and the spot 5-year rate, we were able to determine what the bond market thought the 5-year treasury rate would be in 5 years. And so if you remember what we did, we did the 5-year five five-year forward rate and the way we calculated it was using this formula right here 1 plus the long-term spot rate, so 1 plus 2.61 percent we're going to raise that to the tenth power take all of that and divide it by 1 plus the shorter term spot rate, the five year, so 1 plus 1.39 percent raised to the fifth rate we're going to take that entire fraction and raise it to 1 divided by the difference in the two maturities. 10 years minus 5 years are to the 1 fifth power minus 1. That is so we can annualize that forward 5 year rate. And so to do it mathematically, we simply take parentheses, I'll do it 3 times 1 plus the 10 year rate raised to the 10th, close parentheses, divided by 1 plus the 5 year rate raised to the 5th take all of that and raise it to the 1 divided by 10 minus 5 minus 1 remember last time we got 3.84 percent so just using this formula we were able to figure out what we wanted what the future uh, what the bond market thinks the 5 year rate will be in 5 years what if we wanted to know the three year seven year forward rate that is what do we think the ten year the seven year treasury will be in three years so we're going to compare the ten year treasury and the three year treasuries the spots rates on those two treasuries and that difference whatever rate we find to equate those two investments, whatever that rate is, is what the bond market thinks the seven year rate will be in three years. So again we do open with these C's three times, one plus the ten year rate, raise that to the tenth power, close parentheses, divide that by one plus the three year rate, raise to the third power, and take all of that and raise it to the one divided by 10 minus 3, so we can annualize that future 7 year rate. That minus 1 will be what the bond market thinks the 7 year rate will be in 3 years. Now, down below what I've done is I've done I've created a table where I can compare all of these forward rates. So at time 0, which is today, these are my spot rates. So I added a few extra yields in there so I can do more, more forward rates. So at time 0, today the one-year treasury is 0.12 percent, the five-year treasury is 1.39 percent, and the ten-year treasury is 2.61 percent, and I filled in rates in between. The next time is what does the market thinks the one, think the one-year rate, two-year rate, three-year rate is going to be one year from now. So if you look at the five-year, I take one plus the six-year treasury, raise that to the six, divide that by one plus the one-year treasury, raise to the, to the first power, and take all of that and raise it to the 1 divided by 6 minus 5 which is the first um, I mean 1 minus 1 minus 1 divided by 5 excuse me raise it to the 1 divided by 5 to annualize that forward 5 year rate and when I do that I get that the bond market thinks that the 5 year treasury will be 2.02 percent one year from now today it's 1.39 percent so obviously the bond market thinks the 5 year treasury rate is going to get higher each year into the future um, so this table does does that with every combination of rates that I can I can come up with and so what I do is I graph the spot yield curve and then I graph each year subsequent forward rate rate curve so here's what interest rates are today here's what the bond market thinks rates will be a year from now two years from now three years from now four years from now and five years from now and obviously given that rates are so low and the yield curve is so steep, when the yield curve is steep the bond market is telling us they think future rates will be higher than current rates. And so uh, we can use the bond market yield curve itself to figure out what the bond market thinks rates will be in the future. So what can you do with this? Well on the second page 
what I do here is I look at two strategies. Remember that a five-year, five-year forward rate was 3.84%. So the bond market is telling us they expect the five-year treasury rate to be 3.84% five years from now. If you think the five-year treasury is going to be much lower, only 2.5%, what can you do? Well, if you think rates are going to be lower than the bond market expects, then you want to buy the longer-term bond and short the shorter-term bond with a net investment of zero. At the end of five years, that five-year treasury in, uh, matures at 1,071.46. That's just taking it by whatever its, its starting yield was. If you look back at the starting yield, that's 1.39%. So if you invest the five-year treasury and you're going to short it, so you're going to sell it at 1.39%, it's going to mature at 1,071.46. You take that amount and you short it again, but you think the five-year is only going to be 2.5%. So if you reinvest, if you re-sort that at 2.5%, then you're going to have a portfolio at the end of 10 years that's, that you have to pay off that you sorted at 12, 12.26. Your 10-year treasury will mature at 1293.89. So you will net a gain of $81.63, but you did not invest anyone, any money at all up front. It was a zero net investment. So if you expect rates to be lower in the future and the yield curve says, then go long to longer term bond and short the shorter term bond, bond and you will end up with a gain. The exact opposite is down here where we're, we're going to say, well, I expect the five-year rate to actually be 5% five years from now, not 3.84%. Well, if you expect rates to be higher than they are, than the market expects them to be, not just higher than what they are today, but higher than what the bond market expects. So your, your comparison is to the forward rate, not to the spot rate. So you notice in both of these examples, we thought rates would be higher five years from, they, from today than they are today. But our question wasn't, are they going to be higher, but are they going to be higher than what's priced in the bond market? So here, the bond market expects the five-year rate to be 3.84%, but you expect it to be 5%. If you expect rates to be higher than what the bond market is telling you, then you would go long the shorter-term treasury, short the longer-term treasury. In this case, when that bond is going to mature at the same value as before, because you, you invested here at 1.39%, you'll then reinvest at the 5%, and you'll end up with a portfolio at the end of 1367.48. Use that to pay off your short 10-year treasury to 1293.89, and you end up with a gain of 73.59. In the next video, we'll talk about how to use the bond market nominal yields and compare those to the inflation index yields, the TIPS curve, to, to figure out what the bond market thinks inflation will be in the future.